We've got 10 games left in the season. We've got two big matches today and we're still sitting in fourth place. Could we qualify for Champions League football? No idea, but the lowest we can finish is not in the relegation zone. So as tall systems go for Project Palomo. Welcome to Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP and we have two huge games for you today in terms of our finishing position, which could be very, very exciting. We are at home against Cagliari and then we should be away against Roma and there it is. As you can see, we've won some football games and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we beat Juventus, which is mad. We beat them 3-1 of Radielli, the lonely, on debut, scoring two goals. And then uh, Urbanski scoring late on. That was fun. Nil all against Milan. I would have bitten your arm off for a point there. No issues at all. And then Evandro getting a goal in the 94th minute against Homo to pick up a 1-0 win. And then Garen Kowal scoring a brace and getting us over the line against Matteo Brunori's Monza. Remember him? Brunori? Yeah, he's playing for them. We beat them. It was great. But today we're going to play Cagliari. If we have a look at the situation here, this is interesting. Uh, best possible finish is first. We could still win the league. We're not going to win the league. Uh, but we could finish uh, as low as 16th if everything just goes pear-shaped. But I think we're going to be fine. There's a few players who are doing my head in a little bit. We're about to dip into the red money-wise. So European qualification would be huge in terms of dollars. Absolute disaster in terms of league position and uh, future planning. But all is not lost and we're going to be fine. For now, we are going to go and play some football. We're going to go kick the pants off Cagliari and send them home with bare bottoms. Let me just have a look at the squad because full disclosure, it's been a few days since I played this save. Can't remember what I was up to. This all looks good. So, uh, Fructal in goal. Gallo, Maturo, Velukovic, and Perozzi at the back. We've had some issues with suspensions because of yellow cards. They've all reset, so hopefully we're fine to the end of the season now. Adope back in as defensive midfielder. Uh, Ranokia and Segre in the centre of the park. Saidi and Kuol on the right, and then Evandro up front. We've messed around with a 4-2-4 and some other stuff. Uh, one thing I am going to tweak is instead of that width, we're just going to play fairly narrow and... Uh, and yeah, I want to try that. I've been doing some research into tactics. I've been trying to learn how to do tactics and it's probably a disaster. Uh, I can't have Christian Del Grosso on the bench. He's a youngster. He's 18. We signed him. He'll be fine. But not for today. He can't play because he's played for the under 20s. I know we don't have a full bench. We haven't had a full bench all season. We're going to have to fix that for next season. Depending on where we finish, if we do qualify for Europe, we're going to have to make a buttload of signings to fill out this squad. We have been on a good run lately, so let's keep that going and win more. It's a great team talk right there. There we go. Everybody's inspired or happy, positive mentality. Let's get to it. And I want to see more from Evandro. I'm not disappointed with him. We talked about this before. He is 18 years old. He's got a ton of potential. He could be brilliant. He just needs to bed in and get some confidence. So along those lines, that's why I've gone fairly narrow uh, with the aim of condensing everything a little bit. The fullbacks will push on. These guys should come more central in attacking uh, phases of play and we should generate more through balls for Evandro. Part of the problem is he does score goals. He finishes quite well more often than not. He blows some chances massively as well. But he gets a lot of opportunities one-on-one -on -one with the keeper or in those central positions. And I'm trying to generate more through balls in those central areas. Much like they've done there. Fruitdor with a good save, but that was a dangerous chance. Cagliari there with a warning shot across our bow, which only works if we're a ship. And we're absolutely not. We're a football club. But you get the idea. They're still attacking and we need to nip this in the bud because I don't care for it. Lots of ball play. Oh, they've hit the woodwork there. My goodness. Kowal collects a loose ball. Has a run. Again, you see him there. Coming central. Plays it back out wide to Perozzi and the highlight ends. But that movement inside and the wingers cutting in. or well, the inside forward in that case for Kowal, I think, is the role he's playing. That's what we want to see. Get everything central. Focus playing that area. Have the fullbacks underlapping. Trying to get wide. The wingers staying wider. 
and opening up some space, hopefully drawing those defenders out for Evandre to run into. There's Perazzi, Kowal inside, shoots, and it's just hit the post and out. Very, very close. We'll encourage the boys. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, Cagliari have had more chances, but ours have looked quality. That's a good header from Wiley, but that is over. And we're going to go again, but we don't get to see it, which is disappointing. This isn't really suiting Saeed. He's on a 6.4. And it's not generating the chances I want, but it might take a little bit after that adjustment for things to kick in. I'm not disappointed. This is fine, but our sheeting has not been good enough. So we just give everybody a rev up. Uh, you've got the ability. You've got ability, change the game, do all the things, marvellous stuff. And back into the match. Oh, jeez. A highlight from kickoff is always terrifying. Hopefully, they're not going to score from it and put us on the back foot. Yeah. Right. We just need to get the ball. Ah, that's cheap. That's a cheap goal. Cheap and nasty. I'm going to berate them for conceding that. Let's have a look at the instructions here. Passing directness shorter. Let's keep that. We'll keep the tempo as standard. We'll work the ball into the box. And we'll go a bit narrower. In transition, we do want to re regroup. I'll let them decide what they're going to do when possession's being won. Distribute to the fullbacks is fine. Out of possession. I'm okay with the low block. We'll do all that. Yeah, I like it. It's going to work. It's going to be fine. I just don't want to lose to Cagliari. These guys came up with us, and we should be able to ruin them, but again, we've been on the back foot for most... Yes, confirm the changes. Why haven't you? That's annoying. It's been a while since I've screwed the pooch lines. <laughs> Fuck people. I used to do my head in on FM23. If you remember the old Wizard of Oz days over on Twitch, I used to do that all the time, and it would break my brain. Uh, speaking of Twitch, we've got Deadpool FC happening over on Twitch, which we've talked about before uh, here during Project Palermo, but that's a lovely goal from Saidi. We'll get back to Deadpool FC in a minute. Things are happening right here in Sicily. Saidi with a lovely strike and pulling us level with Cagliari. This is much better. So Segre pulling out wide, crosses into Perazzi, not really cross, more of a pass. Ron Kia plays it through to Saidi first time, and that's gorgeous. And we had numbers central, which is what we want. They had more, but all right. All right, things might be coming together. Let's encourage the boys. We've got it back to one all. We're going to look to make a couple of changes shortly. I think Kowal's going to come off and Segre because Segre's been awful. So uh, Abanski can come on for him. And then to replace Kowal, I think we'll throw on uh, Chona, who is focused. And we like a bit of focus. Confirm those changes. That will be fine. And kick off. So Deadpool FC, custom club we created for Football Manager 2024. We started down in Tier 10 in the deepest, darkest non-league. We've got ourselves up to the Vanarama National League North. And it looks like we might be going up. Unless we already went up. I can't remember. Again, it's been a few days. We're going to go attacking here. And we're going to make a couple more changes. It's five minutes ago. We need to change the game. We've got some tired bodies. So Mercantile can come on there. Matura can go out to left back. Uh, let me just have a look here. We've got Radayeli who can't play midfield, so that doesn't help us. Vashich can, so he'll replace Ranakia. And Vandro is tired. Uh, I kind of want to keep him on, but we'll throw Radielli on, get some fresh legs up front, confirm those changes, get back into it. We've gone attacking, we need to make something happen, score a goal, and then shut up shop. Because uh, we want to win. Winning's great. Abanski now plays it out. Great through ball for Chuna. Evandro's in the centre. Chuna's shot instead. Evandro was outnumbered in the centre of midfield. But that's great work there uh, from one of our players. I don't know who it was who won that challenge, but that's a cynical foul from the Cagliari player. Send him off, ref. Send him off. And then we can score from this free kick and feel better we're about life in general. No penalty. Of course not. He was miles outside. Is that what we were looking at? And he's just told this guy to calm down. It should have been a send-off. It was clearly a horrible, horrible challenge. It could have killed the man. Uh, not like this. Good save for Farouk to send it up into the crowd and they can play with a football shaped beach ball. And they've won a corner. We're still on an attacking instruction, which is probably dumb. We don't do well in these situations. We just need to clear it out. 
which we do. A couple of minutes left. It's going to be a boring old 1-1 draw. But you know what? That's fine. I'll take it. We're massively overperforming this season. It is disappointing that we didn't win. I need to have a chat to Segre because, I mean, that just wasn't good enough. It was well below the required standard. Everybody else was okay. Fandre just inconsistent. But that point, as it stands, puts us up in the third. Roma obviously have a game in hand on us, but we play them next. So that could be interesting. Uh, again, Deadpool FC over on Twitch. Come and check it out. Twitch.tv forward slash Deadpool underscore 2028. It's quite a mouthful. Thinking about changing the Twitch name, but you should come and check that out because you have a great time. We've got some real heroes and it's fun as hell. All of that being said, let's uh, skip ahead in time. I'll meet you guys in a second for the Roma match. Game day against Roma. They did win their game in hand, so they are three points above us now with a better goal difference. We're still sitting in fourth place. Juve are hot on our heels, but they're four points behind. Our lowest possible finish now has increased. It's 15th. So the more points we get, the more we win, the closer we get to securing one of these lovely colored places, which would be delightful. We need to win against Roma today to try and shore that up. No guarantee. And because it's an important game and it'd be stupid to do something silly like change the tactic, that's exactly what I've done. So we're looking at a gang and press because why not? It's a 4-2-3-1. Everybody says it's overpowered in Football Manager. I'm rubbish at the game, so I don't think so. The idea here is uh, Roma are quite good at attacking. They're a good side. So we've got our usual goalkeeper in Fruit, our usual back line of Gallo, Maturo, Velukovic, and Pirozzi. But we've got two ball-playing defenders in here. We've got Gallo as an inverted fullback and Pirozzi as an inverted fullback as well to help shore up the defence and cut off some of that attack. They're also under instructions to try and overlap when we can. So here, overlap left, overlap right, which I didn't have turned on. Now I do, and we're also playing way too narrow. I want to go narrow in that position thank you very much also want to work ball into the box and i would like a standard tempo i would like shorter passing this is all looking a bit wrong why haven't i tweaked it i do want short kicks i do want to distribute to ten uh, center backs i do want to counter press uh i don't want to counter i want to distribute quickly I do yep that's all good high defensive line with a high press yes uh trigger the press more often we don't want to step up more, but we do want to invite crosses. Okay, so that's all looking better. So now we can go back to tell you what we're doing. We've got an inside forward, an inverted winger, looking to cut inside. These guys, uh, uh, Ronakia will hang back more. Uh, Segro will push forward more. I'd like to swap them around, but that's how we'll keep it. I've played with player instructions and everything. Vash is just going to sit narrow, but move into channels. These guys are going to sit narrow as well. These guys might overlap when the opportunity presents itself, but the idea is to get more service into Evandro up front or whoever's playing as the striker. It's not anybody's best role sitting in this system, but I want to give it a shot. It is high intensity. We're going to need to use our substitutions. We've got a full bench because we've just grabbed a bunch of the youngsters. We'll see what happens. We've got to give out some squad numbers, so we'll do that. If this tactic works, I'm a genius. If it doesn't, we'll go back to what we use for the rest of the season and, and make do. But we've been very leaky. And if we're going to be leaky, I'd rather give us a chance to maximise what we get out of our striker and score some goals. Uh, just the, nobody expects us to get a result. Just go out there and try this out, gents. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, it's not an abject failure. It's a risk. We're taking a risk, because why not? There's no point sitting back and hoping for a draw. I'd like to win. They've got a player named Indica, which is a funny name, and I'm glad I've seen it. It's made my day. But here we are, ready for kickoff. At Roma's place, third place, fourth. We should not be fourth. It's an absolute madness that we're sitting this high in the league. And so far, the tactic's not been great. 21% possession, and we're under the cosh. So, hmm. But we've got a throw in here, which is promising. Here's Vasic, who's barely played all season. He's not at all match sharp, but he's really the only attacking midfielder I've got at the club now. Look at that through ball. That's a ball through the centre, and that's exactly what I want out of this tactic. Kowal, looking for a pass. Can't find one, just runs it in himself and sprays his shot wide. Too much curve on it. But that's exactly what I wanted to see. Ball central crowding this area, working it into the box and trying to create chances for the striker or the on-rushing wingers. Mmm, very promising and very tasty. We've upped our percentage of possession. 
it's uh, it's slow going, but another attacking highlight for us. Rennie Kia plays it in, finds Wally. Here's Evandro, takes the ball out wide, plays it inside. Vasic is there with the low cross and an assist for Evandro. And that, oh, I think it's working. I think it's working. I've done a tactic. Oh my goodness. Great ball in, Wally heads it down. Evandro just runs it wide, shows some of his skill, spots Vasic in the centre. Oh, lovely stuff. A goal for Vasic, his first in the dog's age, because he barely played all season when he has his played in midfield. He scored a few with his cameos off the bench, but yeah, the way this tactic is working at the moment, we'll probably concede here now. That's a foul from Galloway, and he's giving away a penalty, which is sad because we did such good work to get ourselves into that position to take a lead, and we've gone throwing it away. That's frustrating. Maybe it won't be a penalty. Maybe the ref will do us a solid. No, it's a penalty. Of course it is. Of course it is, because we're Palermo and they're Roma. Can Fregdor make himself a hero? He's dancing around in his goal mouth. And he goes the right way, but can't quite make the save. And encourage the boys. Much as I want to win this game, I want to win every game. But as much as I'd like to win this, there's nothing wrong with the draw. There's probably nothing wrong with the loss. I'll take Europa League, I'll take Conference League qualification, it's all money in the bank. But, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to delude myself. Champions League would be quite the accomplishment for this club in just our second season in Serie A. It's crazy, Segre does really well to take the ball away from Dobrik, the striker. He's definitely the Roman danger now. Virgil with a confident save there, but they've given away a free kick because that fella, he was offside. What a silly goose. All right. We go into half time. It's one all. I'm ha I am happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Look at Vandro with a high match rating. That never happens. The other part of this tactic is it's going to give up chances because we're playing a high defensive line and we're playing a very high press, which we've not really done all season. And you can see there it's costing us seven from set pieces because we left someone unmarked yet again. Still baffles me. Uh, I was controlling our set pieces at one point and they just weren't working, so I've handed it back over to the set piece coach because I don't know what I'm doing and we're paying him to do it so why wouldn't we that's another rubbish set piece of defending piece of set piece defending the words I'm looking for Kawhi hasn't showed up, showed up. Uh, we're going to play Radielli on that side and see if that can make a bit of a difference and Gally's really let me down here at left back I'm tempted to take him off and yeah, I'll bring on Merck and Dali in here as the ball playing defender and just shore things up. Kowal hasn't impressed me today, which is a shame, but we're 2 1 down now and I don't care for it. Encourage the ball. <laughs> I've got another free kick. A dangerous area. Flag is up. That's not going to count, but mm, now, I'm, now I'm getting nervous. We were playing well. We were doing really well. We were holding our own. That's been disallowed, so it's still 2-1. And we need to get a wiggle on it. We're going to run out of time and get back into this game. I'm not sure what to change. We're going to go attacking. Because we need to try and create something. I think I'm going to take off Saidi and bring on Chauna. And we'll swap. Well, we won't swap them around because Brady really can't play on the left-hand side. So that's fine. Uh, Matura I've just moved out there, so I'm not too concerned with his performance at the moment. Uh, I am going to remove Segre from the equation and throw on Urbanski because he's looking a bit more. And he can play as a secondo volante. Actually, he can play as a Roman play playmaker. I've got something else to think about. Right. Courage, boys. Come on. You can do this. We can do this. We've only had two chances in the whole game, which is a concern. We've gone very attacking. Again, just in an effort to make something happen. I think we're going to go down to Roma here and finish the episode in fourth. This is going to be a goal for them. Oh, just geez, lucky. Turo heads it away from danger. But another mm, if a bit of defending there. Defending's not our strong suit, which was part of the reason for the change in tactic to try and create those central chances and, and really push on and outscore opposition teams. But... Our players have tackled themselves there. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Let's just drop back to positive. Let's just go absolutely bonkers. More direct. 
higher tempo just go route one gents and turn it on we've only been training this tactic for under a week you saw me make adjustments before the match so it wasn't perfect when they were training it even um they, they gave it a shot it could work i'm going to persist with it and you'll find out how that goes later but that might take us out of the top three equation if we could still finish fourth that's champions league we've got some breathing room on uv not heaps though so we need to make sure results keep going our way as best we can again it's very silly to change the tactic this way this late in the season but i wanted to fiddle and i think it's going to be fine we've got some not impossible matches coming up inter that's a write-off uh we don't have to play milan again uh who are top of the league but everything else is winnable i think fiorentina is a tough game napoli is a tough game they've always been uh tricky for us but uh, Parma, Medina, Bologna, Frosinone, Sassuolo, they're all teams we can beat. So what we might do, I don't really want to drag it out, you know, and we've already played that lot recently. So I think we'll come back and uh, we'll come back at the end of the season. I'll just play through and I'll meet up with you lot for Frosinone, Sassuolo. I know we've already played them recently and it was a fun episode, but that's where we're going to wind up. Uh, I think uh, we'll just see where we can finish as much as I'd like to show you into Parma. All right. I've talked myself into it. We'll be back for Inter and Parma in the next episode away to Inter at home to Parma. We'll see where we're at and then we'll skip through to the end of the season. Oh, I spoil you lot. Say thanks down in the chat. That would be super nice of you. I'm well aware. I just said down in the chat. We don't have a chat. Here on YouTube, we have a comment section. So you can say thanks down there and also say, Hi DP, how's it going? Hate your new tactic. That'd be awesome. Hit like, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next couple of episodes. Uh, and you could witness us qualify for Champions League football, which would be awesome. But until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Oh,